Hello KFC Supercoaches and welcome to season 2023. The biggest moment of the year just happened. Team List Tuesday, I'm going to run through who to buy, hold and sell. Sunia Taruva looks like he'll be one of the cheapies of the year. He has, as expected, won that wing spot at the Panthers with Taylor May out for the season with an ACL injury. Isaiah Katoa, he has won a Dolphins halves spot ahead of Anthony Milford. So a little bit of a shock there from the coach, Wayne Bennett. And here he is setting up a try in the trials. Now onto Jermaine Hopgood, I'm gonna just go through these next few guys really quickly because I've spoken about them so much during the preseason. If you want more info, check out the Cheapy Bible, but Hopgood, Paul Alamotti, Stefano Udakamanu, and Olafikana Khan Pereira, just lock those guys into your team. Davy Mawale is an interesting one. He has won a bench spot at the Rabbitohs. I'm a little worried about what happens when Hame Sele comes back into the team, but for now, Mawale is in my side as the fourth front rower. Jackson Ford has been a star of the preseason and he scored a ben uh, he scored a starting spot rather at the Warriors, which is exactly what we were hoping for for him. Only at 3.5% ownership. He's one of the cheapies of the year. He should be up at about 30-40% ownership. William Warbrick from the Storm has won that wing spot there. Here he is scoring a great try in one of the trials busting a bunch of tackles and carrying a whole bunch of guys over the line. He has a spot until at least round three, and if he plays like that, I think he could play uh, and just win that spot for the rest of the season. Harley Smith-Shields is a guy who I'm really interested in, only 1.2%. He has won the Canberra centre spot, and it looks like he's got that locked in, at least until Xavier Savage returns. He's one of a number of borderline cheapies coming through uh, alongside Remus Smith and Tommy Talao. And finally, probably the biggest shock of Teams Day for me is that Braden Williame won a centre spot at the Warriors. His dual position for Supercoach, basically bottom dollar. So he'll go from currently 0% in the game right now up to a fair percentage. Let's move on to the holds. Just the one hold, and he's a really popular purchase. It's Josh Schuster. He is out until round three with a calf injury uh, this week, and then the buy next week. I'm still going to hold him. I'm going to stash him, uh, and he's going to be a good cheapie at some stage this year, so just save the trade. Let's go on to the sells. Big news today with Nico Hines ruled out of round one. He should be back for round two, but in any case, I, I just can't pick him for, for the opening week. That's a beautiful try assist that he set up during the trials, but still, I can't go near Nico Hines with so many popular players on early buys. Matt Dory is a guy who I was keen on. He has been named uh, in the starting pack for the Eels, but I don't think I'm going to go there. I'm a bit worried about Lane and Madison coming back into that Eels team. Ray Stone is a guy I thought could play in that 13 jersey for the Dolphins. That's not going to happen. Tom Gilbert has got that, so Ray Stone's out of the side for me. Valence Tavare also at the Dolphins. Very popular purchase in Supercoach, but he's missed out on the squad altogether. It's a similar story for Jack Howarth, who is so highly rated there at the Storm, but he's missed the squad entirely. A really popular cheapie who you simply have to sell. And then finally, Franklin Pele, who's a guy who's pretty popular as a cheapie prop. I can see why people would get around it. He's won a bench spot there, but I am worried about Tavita Pangai Jr. coming back into that team and Chris Patolo as well. So for me, Franklin Pele is a bit of a risk. That is it for buy, hold, sell. Good luck with picking your teams.